Coming up after the break, we're going to check in with Devin, who's in the kitchen. Hey, Devin. Hey, thanks, Morgan. Coming up on the show, we're here with Maru, showing off some delicious Mexican food recipes, and they're good for you, too. We're back with more after the break. We've still got some more uh, 814 coming your way. We're learning all about how one woman took her health back through the Mexican food diet. We're going to introduce you to Maru de Vila. Uh, she's showing off some of her amazing recipes. That's coming up next. Welcome back to the show. Time for some 814 Eats. Join with us now. We've got Maru Davila, who is the author, cook, um, chef, you know, of her, of her very own uh, platform. Welcome to the show, Maru. Thank you. I'm so excited. And today we're going to do a Mexican celebrity dinner party. Ooh. And we're going to feature the three favorite dishes of the top three celebrities. Okay. So why don't we get started? Can you help me? Yeah. Okay. Help me we're going to do Kim Kardashian's favorite dish which is a guacamole we're gonna use this mocajete Ooh. which is made out of stone all right and you just need to grind it i'm okay. starting i've already added roasted garlic onion which are going to be your high anti-inflammatory mm -hmm. and also going to help you fight infections and then we're gonna i'm gonna help you from here okay we're help go ahead you. We're going to add avocado, and here what you need to do is you can do as much or as little as you want. If you want thicker, chunky, exactly. or more smooth. Yeah. Okay. And so we're going to do that, and that's going to be avocado has high fiber, and it's going to keep your cravings at bay, and also keep you very satisfied, which yeah. is key for weight very management. Good. Okay. And now the rest, if you can help me. Oh, by the way, it also has lime, which is high in antioxidants, vitamin C. Mm. And let's add the tomato. Let's just fold okay. tomatoes. So Serrano, this. peppers, then we're going to have some spices that are good to control blood sugar and also fight inflammation. And if you fold them, and then at the end we'll just put some, some cilantro, which is great for detoxing against mm -hmm. heavy metals. So Ooh. when you taste it, you're going to love it, and okay. we'll taste it at the end. Yeah. But um, it's going to be delicious, nutritious. Okay. Nice. And now, All right. so that's I'm going to move while you keep finishing okay. that. I'm going to move to Salma Hayek's very unique creation. She created a tequila soup. You know why? I don't know. Well, she wanted. Everything's better with tequila. She started the soup because she wanted to feed it to all her guests, so that when the second and third dishes came, they would be a little drunk and they would love it. So I think it's a great idea. But in all seriousness, it is nutritious and delicious. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with bone broth. And bone broth is great to heal your gut. Then we're going to add some good tequila. Tequila, in moderation, is good. Uh -huh. And it's good because it has prebiotic properties that is, are good for your gut. And also, it helps with production of digestive enzymes. Key is moderation. Oh, okay? okay, of course. That's and then what I'm gonna, If you want to add the lime, the, okay. the lime Let's is going to add a lot of antioxidants. And there you go. Look how easy it is. Yes. And that's unique creation. Yummy. Now, why don't we move here? We're going to create Taylor Swift's favorite dish, a Jamie Oliver recipe that is chicken mole fajitas. It's, mm -hmm. it's already prepared, but I'll tell you, I started by cooking tomatoes. And the tomatoes are going to add antioxidants that protect your heart and also protect you against cancer. So I'm always thinking about two things, flavor and how I can add nutrients that mm -hmm. help you with your health. Is that the mole? Yes, that's the mole. When you cook down the tomato? Yes. Okay. And then I, it also gets cooked with chipotle pepper, which peppers have a unique compound called capsaicin. Mm -hmm. And capsaicin is very good to, for many things. It boosts your metabolism so you can burn more fat, and it also helps again and appetite so you feel like full faster yeah and so that's really we always good. love that yeah and then I also added some spices that are great for blood sugar control and then chocolate chocolate is an antioxidant and mood booster so if you want to be happy that's another way to be happy Ooh. in addition to tequila so now why don't we start on and it's a savory food yeah and then we're going to the start chocolate. building these okay. um, I, I'm using cassava tortillas mm -hmm. because I'm allergic to corn but okay you know, if you just cassava corn, is a bean Cassava is like a root. Oh, okay. So if you, uh, if you use corn, just make sure it's non-GMO organic. And then we're going to add this. I already cooked this, mm -hmm. but this is, this is chicken cooked with onions and red peppers, mm -hmm. olive oil, just saute. And then you're going to add it as your uh, content. Oh, we love that. I love this kind of mixture. Mexican food is so good, and I love that you're teaching us that you don't have to, uh, you know, think of it as being unhealthy because you've, you've got a healthy twist on them because it's a lot of good things, good components. Like you said, the lime, the cilantro, the healthy fats, and the avocado. 
Yes, and now I'm gonna, we're going to garnish it with cilantro, which remember cilantro detoxes from heavy metals. Mm -hmm. And if you want, we can also sprinkle it with a little Stir lime. it on there. Always vitamin C antioxidants to oh. protect your, the health of your cells. And there you have it. This is Taylor so Swift's good. favorite dish. And I could dig in? Yes. Give it a can. shot. While I do this, I want to know where your journey started. What called you to, to start this program? Well, I started when I was young in my early 20s. I struggled with my health and my weight. Mm. And, and I avoided Mexican food. I thought mm -hmm. it would make me fat. But then when I went back to school to study how to recover my health, I learned that I needed to do a few things. And I found that one of the best way to do it was with Mexican food because of the ingredients that it has. They're mm -hmm. highly, if you really choose right, you can choose a lot of anti-inflammatory, detox, ingredients that support your hormones. So I learned just how to like really use authentic Mexican dishes, take out anything that was inflammatory, boost it up right. with antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, so the opposite, and always preserve or maximize the flavor. Mm -hmm. so and you get that in this. This is so refreshing, and it's a lot of those fresh and natural ingredients. And how Taylor Swift like, likes yeah. it likes to, or Jamie Oliver says is with some guacamole that we already Throw prepared. It on there. I love that mole. It's so flavorful, packed and, with flavor. And because I know this is delicious, you don't have to eat the tequila now. You can eat it later. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to you don't have to get me drunk first. Yes. I love food. Um, and then the other component, so your your cookbook, you have a variety of other recipes too. Um, the Mexican food diet there. So you can lose weight, feel great, and still eat these, you know, your favorites. Yes. It doesn't all have to be packed with calories, um, but you know, within moderation, of course, you can, you can enjoy some of those. Because you know, I, when I, I did have a lot of problems with figuring out how to eat for my health and my weight, but I also got tired of counting calories, feeling deprived. So what I wanted is what I created is healthy eating that feels like cheating. Yeah. It's so good for you and it tastes so good that you can't believe it's really like healthy. And that's my idea. That's a, a little showcase of what it can be, but there's many other ways. I, don't, I feel life's too short to eat bland, boring right. food or be hungry, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't have chicken and rice for every meal. So you kind of beef it up a little bit with some of these great flavors. If people want to check out your recipes or learn more about your cookbook what's the best way Maru? So the best way is go to marudavila.com and you can find ev everything that I'm passionate about and again this is a perfect example of healthy eating that feels like cheating. Yes we love that because um, you know sometimes cutting corners is a hard thing in, the, in your weight loss journey so if you have delicious foods that you can enjoy and you know help cut some calories while you're at it, lose, shed some pounds always a good thing. Yeah, and control your sugar because nowadays a lot of people are struggling with diabetes. If mm -hmm. I wasn't eating the way I eat, I would probably be. I'm genetically pre predisposed and really? I struggle. So that's why you see it's very low in carbs and if we use carbs, they're the smart carbs, vegetables and every now and then a little treat like a tortilla. Yes, of course you need it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Morgan. Yeah, we appreciate you stopping by, showing our audience some of these amazing recipes and how we can incorporate them into our daily lives. Add a little flavor, add a little spice. Why not? <laughs> I love it. Yes, thank you.